able to put just five frames into this bottom brood chamber. That'll give me some room to dump the bees in and uh, also put the queen cage in. So I'll just put five of these in my bottom brood chamber. Okay, so it's ready now for the bees. Well, the girls are here. They came this morning in the U.S. mail in uh, this container. And uh, the postmaster gave me a call and was eager that I came and pick it up, this uh, package of buzzing bees. But uh, they're a little agitated now, so I'm going to leave them here in the garage. It's dark and cool. And I'm going to feed them with a mixture of sugar water. This is 50, a 50-50 mixture of water and granulated sugar. So I'm just going to spray it on the cage and hopefully that's going to relax them a little bit, uh, make them a little more content. And hopefully when I go to hide these guys a little later on this afternoon, they'll be well fed and they won't be too angry. When I turn the package upside down, and bang them into the brew chamber. You can see they're in a nice cluster and they're not too agitated. Okay, it's time to install a queen. She's in here in her own cage. The reason she has her own cage is that uh, the bees uh, need to get used to her smell so that they accept her. There's only one queen allowed for hive and if they uh, feel she's an intruder they'll kill her so she's shipped in her own little mini cage so that they can get used to her so I'm gonna have to first thing is to install this miniature cage there's a few bees here they're a little angry probably I mean, this is the queen here try to get her out see if she's alive There's a few attendants in there. And right there you can see she has a little dot on her. Can you see that? She's a, a Russian queen, so she's safe. There's this little candy plug here I have to take out next. Basically this plug is made out of uh, sugar and the bees will slowly eat their way through it and release the queen within uh, two to three days. So let me get okay, rid of the, that uh, now. The queen cage is installed and the uh, plug is removed so uh, now it's time to dump in the rest of the bees. Well, it's time for the protection because uh, I think they're going to be pretty mad here. So first thing I'm going to do is take the feeding can out I have to knock the bees down to the bottom, so I got to give them a good bang here to knock them off of their. Uh... Oh boy, that didn't like that. Knock them to the bottom here. Take out the feeding can. Probably get bit at least once here. And now I dump them in. I'll put half over the uh, queen and the other half into the rest. Boy, they're really mad. Okay, there's half over the queen. Now the rest go in. Boy, are they mad. Oh yeah, this suit sure is handy. Okay, I'm gonna I'll get this away from the hive.
That's about 3,000 bees in there right now. Now eventually, uh, at full at the full height of summer, there will be about 60,000 bees in here, and uh, the wintering colony will have about 5,000. So what I'm going to do next is try to put some of these uh, frames back in and then put the hive top feeder on, pour a little sugar water in there so they have something to eat, and uh, come back in three days and see how they're going. So let's see if I can get these frames back in without killing too many bees here. I'll probably have to leave one off because of the queen's cage is taking up a spot. But you know, they're remarkably docile. I don't think any bees actually tried to bite me yet. Now it's time to put the uh, hive top feeder on. Basically, I'm going to fill this up with sugar water. The bees will be able to come up through this hole and get some sugar water. mixture of water and plain old white granulated sugar. That should keep them happy for the next three or four days. And I put the cover on. For the next three or four weeks, I'll be leaving this entrance reducer on where it's down to about a two inch opening. That'll keep the bees uh, safe. One, it's an easier opening to defend, and two, hopefully, all these bees just won't get up and fly away. So we'll leave that on for a little while. Well, okay, that's it. The bees are hived. Let's just hope they don't swarm and take off. Uh, especially, let's hope they don't go uh, over to my neighbors. Uh, now I'm just going to leave them be for uh, the next three days when I'll come and I'm going to open up the hive and I'm going to make sure the queen has been released, that she's alive, and hopefully we'll already see a little activity uh, with some comb building. So I'll see you in three days. Signing off from Ed's Bee Apiary in beautiful Lincolnshire, Illinois.